if you buy an AT&T branded S9 Plus, um, this is something that you need to watch out for because it may seem like your fingerprint scanner is not working, but it probably is. So when I was setting it up, uh, you know, you go through all the steps and you know set up your fingerprints and you know everything was pretty much like normal and it would verify that your fingerprints were working. Um, then I would go, you know, turn off the screen and I go to put my finger on the fingerprint sensor and you know you just be tapping away and like nothing would happen and I was like what is that all about and I you know did some research online and guys are saying you know delete the fingerprints re-add them don't don't do the the swiping gesture to add your fingerprint do the old school tap 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 on the fingerprint sensor and add it that way so I did that it said turn off the fingerprint gestures on the on the screen uh, there's some different things you can do with the S9 plus they said that the gestures mess with the fingerprint scanner. Well, I turned all that off. Um, I'm, I mean, I messed around with it, messed around with it. And if the screen was off, I could not get the phone to wake up with the fingerprint sensor. And I mean, I've been messing with these phones for a long time. And uh, anymore, like, you know, on the 5T here, it's boom, it's lightning fast. And that's what I've been used to. Um, I, I thought something was wrong with the phone. So I ended up calling up Samsung. They didn't know. They just told me, oh, if it's broken, return it. Uh, they didn't offer any kind of replacement. They're like, just reorder it. Well, when I uh, selected to return the phone, it canceled the order that I had for the Dex pad, um, which has not been shipped yet. And <laughs> it kind of, you know, that really kind of ticked me off. Like, I, I didn't want it for, for free if I wasn't going to keep the phone. But at the same time, I just wanted... A replacement phone. I wanted to send this one back and get one back in that worked. Um, after that happened, I, I kept messing around with it, kept messing around with it, and I ended up finding out how to fix it. So here's the fix. And I actually found this out from, I don't remember, some random website online, but the dude had the same trouble I did, and he, he went right to the solution. So you're going to come into settings and you're going to search for, uh, and it's already here in my history, you're going to search for secure lock settings. Okay, you find that, S for your pen. Okay, now I have no way to really verify this, um, but what the forum was saying online is that on the AT&T firmware, you see this up here where it says secured lock time? Right now mine says screen will be locked instantly with the power key, power key or screen timeout. You tap this. That is not the default. The default is 10 minutes. Okay, the screen will be locked after 10 minutes of inactivity. So that's what it looks like when the phone comes from Samsung. So then you turn this off and you go to hit the... Uh, you hit the fingerprint sensor back here, and this thing will not wake up. And the reason I knew, you know, after I submitted the return request, the reason I knew that something it had to be a software thing was because um, I would get frustrated and I'd set the phone down and I'd go back to my 5T and I'd come back and pick up this phone and I'd hit the fingerprint sensor and it would unlock, but it would only do it once. And I couldn't figure out what was going on. and uh, you know, that setting is so buried in there that uh, I honestly don't know if I would have found it without that, that site. So if if this is you, if you bought one of these phones and you're like, dude, what is wrong with the fingerprint sensor? It's, the odds are good. It's probably nothing. You just come in here and you set that thing to instantly. And then... Um, Turn up the screen, and then as soon as you hit the fingerprint sensor, it's on. That's it. That's all it was.